Hey everybody, I wanted to talk a little bit about um, making sure you're doing things that bring you um, calm and joy and happiness because that's a big part of the equation. When you start working on your eating and you start trying to um, break habits that you have been doing, some of us for your entire life, right? Um, it feels very hard, you know? It feels like you're depriving yourself the other thing I struggle with more than even just doing the right thing. If I'm by myself, I can control myself. Um, I can contain myself. My problem comes in when there's a social function or a celebration or we're out somewhere that has really good food and everybody's getting whatever they want and I'm having to pick the grilled chicken and the green vegetable. That's when I struggle. Um, but when you're, when you're home alone, it's not so hard. But I think where I was going with this is... Um, it is a challenge when you first start trying to do the right thing when you haven't been doing the healthy thing. I'll call it the healthy thing. Um, and you can start feeling kind of, you can, I remember grieving for the way I missed eating. Like, you know, I used to eat kind of fast food and pull through all the time and I would feel um, sad that the rest of the family was going to get fast food and I wasn't. I would feel very tied emotionally to that. And when you're making the choice all day long to not stray on your food plan, when you're making that choice a whole week in a row, and then there's a party or a celebration, you can start having some real sad feelings inside. Now, there is some truth to the fact that you're going to physically, emotionally feel better overall, and maybe you don't really have the craving, but there's still something mentally there that is drawing you to want to have that and want to be able to do that. And so for me, one of the biggest tips, and, and I know when it's going well, this is happening, and when it's not going well, it's not happening, is making your routine work for you. So when I had a, a week or two where I was physically not feeling well, I wasn't getting up and taking the little 15 minute walk with my doggy. I wasn't getting a shower in. I wasn't putting on makeup or fixing my hair or putting on an outfit I liked. Um, I wasn't seeing my friends that I would normally see at least two or three times a week for either a workout or a walk or something. Um, those little things, they make a really big difference in this journey. So whatever it is for you that makes you feel better, maybe those aren't your love languages. Maybe that's not what is. We always joke that when we get together to work out, it, it, the workout's amazing and great, but it's really the therapy of it all. It's that when we, we're touching base and we're seeing another adult, it's that we get to talk about the things we're struggling with with our family, and they get to say the same. And it's remembering you're not alone. Um, so I, I just highly recommend that when you're feeling the feels, as I would like to call it, you're feeling all the feels, change change what you're doing and do something you really enjoy or you'd like um, and it can be something like if you're a reader just go get lost in a book um, if you you know get order and happiness from an organization project go organize your pantry go organize your closet do something that makes you feel better in the moment because it will help those feelings that are getting you in a bad loop or you're going to reach for that old friend of food, or you're going to want to just be like, I don't want to do this anymore. I just want the things that I like. So try to fill your life with good things. Try to put those simple little things into place, and that will help you through those hard times that are going to be there. Um, I know today I, I did take my dog for the walk. Um, I actually sat outside on the back porch for a few minutes, which I rarely do, but the weather was more pleasant here and I was very thankful for that and it was very nice just to hear the birds chirp and to, to be outside and um, read the Bible a little bit out there. Do whatever can change your um, your routine that's maybe a negative routine or not a very happy one and just, um, you know, make it happen. If you're lonely, call someone. Um, I love this app called Marco Polo, so if your friends are really busy like mine are, uh, we just use that app to communicate so like we talk and we can share what's going on. It feels good to get it out, but we don't have to like stop and both be available at the same time. Um, but whatever you do, do something to help you feel better. You know what your things are that make your week more successful, your day more successful. Make it a priority to do those things and get your mind off the food. Make the food automatic. The food is fuel. 
and you will start feeling so much better and things will go much, much easier. So I hope that helped a little bit. It's a little bit of where I'm thinking and what I'm working on with my journey. And I uh, hope you have a great, healthy day. Bye.